It'll be because Zimmer are the ones who brought out the first linear clamps back in 1994. Quite often you'll see people referring to them as Zimmer clamps. The Before that, they probably they wouldn't have been able to lift the kind of loads we would be expecting to today. Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. Now today, um, Henry's been so kind to bring down some really cool components we're going to be talking about a little bit later from Zimmer Group. Um, but first of all, Henry, who are, the, who are Zimmer Group? What is the company? Uh, Zimmer is a manufacturer. We are a manufacturer for automation components. Uh, we assist with anyone who's looking to automate their production from end of arm tooling for robotics, from grippers to linear camp clamping, industrial shock absorbers to what, uh, bespoke uh, system, bespoke end of arm tooling. And for, for do, um, to be able to manufacture components like this and also do bespoke projects, you must need quite a big facility. Yes, in Germany we've got three manufacturing facilities with over 300 milling machines that are producing these components up over 13,000 different components we produce. 13,000 different components, there's a lot available. So you've only brought a small selection small um, on the table here today. Um, and shall we start with this side here? This is kind of to do with, with kind of safety of machine tools and automation systems. Uh, who is the kind of person who would be using these products and why would they be using them? So these are our linear clamps. So the idea is you will have, if you have any kind of linear axis in your machine, in your processes, the idea is you'll move it into position and you can either clamp it down for some kind of movement uh, for machining or absolutely for maintenance, but they also act as a safety device. So if you have some kind of failure, either electrical failure, pneumatic failure, these will clamp down, prevent the machine from moving. Yep, so the kind of hand clamps here are more for kind of, I can just unclamp it here, move it along, and this is generally attached to the carriage here, yes. along slideway so it's accurate, and then clamp it by hand. But then, I mean, you were talking earlier about um, really heavy weights being placed on the linear rails, and that's why the safety aspect is so critical for these components. Yes, yeah, so well we've got, for instance, this clamp here. The idea is you'll have, if you have a vertical uh, linear vertical axis, which say you have up to 500 kilos lifting on it, if the motor brake fails and that starts to fall, you would obviously don't want that falling down on your equipment or onto a person. So the idea is that would then clamp down and hold it securely until you can fix the problem. And I assume to the automation engineers out there who already recognize this, safety for them is probably the number one priority as well as mm -hmm. cost is a consideration, but it's always safety that's a primary consideration when you're designing these kinds of automation systems. Yes, well, one of the big factors is these, all of these clamps, or a lot, most of these clamps have up to 2,000 braking cycles, up to 5 million um, st static cycles. So the idea is you can use them if your equipment is, if you need 2,000 braking cycles, there will be an issue with the production. Brilliant. And there is a slight difference between this is a hydraulic, um, yes. this is pneumatic, but they all basically have a similar, apart from this one, they all have a similar functionality, which is... Yes. Fail safe, right? So the idea is a lot of the ones, especially the ones you see here on the video, they have an internal spring. So as it's in, if it's just sat, sat stationary, it will be clamping down on your rail. You will input either pneumatic pressure or hydraulic pressure or electric uh, to release the clamp to allow your motion movement. And obviously safety is so important for automation systems, but what are these products here and how do they make an automation system better? These products fall into our industrial damper section. So the idea is, if, for instance, with the linear rails, at the end of your travel, you don't want your carriage crashing into the end of it. So you could have uh, one of these industrial stoppers, so they will soften that damping. Also, they could be used, say, if you on, you're using robotics, on the, each of the arms, at the end of the travel of the arm, you wouldn't want it coming to a dead stop. You would want it nice cushioned, soften that, movement for, to increase the longevity of that unit. And looking at the sheer difference in sizes, you've got a big damper here down to an absolutely tiny one. Um, they've got a very special kind of design, haven't they? Yes, well, Zimmer have patented this uh, piece of equipment in here. So internally, you'll have uh, two chambers, one filled with uh, your fluid. So the idea is as you depress the damper, it, that fluid goes around this spiral and softens cushions as it goes down but it's been a metal injection molded so that that same piece of equipment here that's patented is inside this small damper as well as this large one here. Absolutely, and this is patented technology, so this is not technology you can find from anyone else. No. Um, 
And let's move on to the, the kind of the rubber end stops here. These aren't just made out of rubber, are they? No, this is a specific TPU material. So it increases the longevity uh, compared to your standard rubber stops. So the idea would be you could put these in a position that is inaccessible or not easily accessible. You wouldn't have any kind of wear over the time, their lifetime. And I remember you saying earlier that actually Zimmer Group are quite well known amongst automation and design engineers. Why is that? Henry? It'll be because Zimmer are the ones who brought out the first linear clamps back in 1994. Quite often you'll see people referring to them as Zimmer clamps. The, before that, they probably they wouldn't have been able to lift the kind of loads we'd be expecting to today. And there's also a huge amount of components that you've not brought along today, probably because they wouldn't fit in the back of your car. Um, if people want to find out more about the automation components and also the bespoke systems that you can offer, how can they? Well, if you go to our website, you can visit our virtual showroom. And there we have examples of all of our product range from the grippers to these linear clamps and dampers, as well as our bespoke end of arm tooling for robotics. That we produce.